non-disclosure agreements, AKA confidentiality agreements. It's what we're going to talk about right now, because if you are a producer, a record label, an artist, at some point you're going to need this document. And the good news is that this is not something that is super overwhelming or is otherwise going to do anything but help you. But we're going to explain all the ways that this is going to be beneficial and why you actually need to have a template that you can use. So I'm an actual entertainment attorney. I draft these all the time. And the first thing I think we need to just say is what is an NDA? Okay. An NDA is a non disclosure agreement, which is also known as a confidentiality agreement. So you and I do a deal and we're, or we're talking about doing a deal. And so I'm going to tell you all my secrets. I'm going to tell you about how I'm going to do it and my processes and I'm giving you my data. And so, you know, I'm hoping that you're not just going to steal my ideas because we haven't signed anything yet or better yet, you're a music producer and you right. have a, a hit song that you're going to demo to a bunch of artists and you don't want them to go and steal your song. So all these instances, this is when we would pull out the non-disclosure agreement to say, hey, we're both going to tell each other secrets. Yeah. We're not allowed to steal those ideas. And we're documenting when we started to have these discussions, whether it's verbally or in writing. All right. So let's talk about kind of the first category, which is just your creative ideas. All right. That's pretty easy. So you as a music producer, you know, you're making beats, you're demoing stuff out. And you are a little more protective on this stuff than I am, funny enough, when it comes to just like you want everyone to sign an, right. an, an NDA on anything when they when they come into our project and we're talking about ideas. Um, and well, why is that? Well, I mean, just it, it's just all your all your secret sauce, all, all the things that you're doing. Let's say you're working with a, an artist and they're coming into your situation. Maybe you're a producer and you're hiring an assistant um, to help, you know, just do cleanups and stuff. Well, they're seeing all your tricks of the trade when they're in your projects and how you do things and your process. And, you know, you don't necessarily want all of your secrets necessarily out there as far as how you're making stuff. Um, but it could also be think about it when you're making a music video. Right. So like maybe you have a totally original concept or maybe something for your stage show. And then you're sitting there and you're discussing it with somebody um, without this. And then they go and take it and or tell people and somebody else has your idea. I mean, there's there's plenty of things that you're previewing stuff. You see when albums get leaked all the time, all of those people that are in connection with like, uh, you know, we're going to talk about Katy Perry later for like a Katy Perry release or something like that have NDAs signed and they are not allowed to share the music or anything that they. Yeah, and we, we do NDAs all the time, for example, for film clients. So as we're pitching ideas, you know, for a certain sizzle reel or we're doing initial testing, um, you know, for show concepts, we're doing NDAs before we send anything. So it applies to every industry, every creative industry. So protect your creative ideas. But there's also, you know, collaborations, right? You're working with people. It allows you mm -hmm. just to freely discuss things. Feel now, remember, here's a pro tip. When it comes to NDAs, you typically want to do it mutually. Okay, so it's a mutual NDA. So meaning you and I are both making the promises to each other. Yeah. But sometimes we do a one way non disclosure agreement, which basically means like, if you're making the promise just to me, that you're not going to disclose anything I tell you it's because like I'm hiring you, right? So I'm going to tell you all of my company secrets and what we're right. going to do. Um, so anyway, there is a way to do it. So it's just one way. Typically, you want to just make it mutual that way. You know, maybe you just share your brainstorming and you come up with this brilliant idea that you share with them. Again, we don't want them running off with your great ideas. For sure. And, I, and you know, this is something that I get kind of worried about because I'm always um, I'm always pitching ideas and I'm always thinking about th think of, think about it also like if you were an inventor. OK, so maybe maybe that's a, another way to easily think about it. So if like you're an inventor and you come up with a really cool invention or you have a cool idea for an invention, it's like you don't want to just tell somebody the idea of it and then they take it and whatever. You want to document it that they you told them that they're not supposed to say anything and it's, it, it's in confidence. So you could see if you could trust them if you're going to work together. But you got to have that. You want to be able to just freely exchange thoughts and ideas without fear of because you don't know what these relationships are going to turn out to be you, you're signing ndas at usually at the beginning point of of something so it's not like you have a huge history it doesn't matter if you have a history i mean your best friends can be backstabbers so um you know just just making sure that you just have those things legally protecting you in place i think it's just crucial in creative fields
Mm -hmm. All right. So three pro tips I can give you from my experience of being a lawyer. I'm forgetting the third one already. Let's see if it comes back to me. One, <laughs> send the NDA yeah. to the potential partner via DocuSign. Okay. So eliminate the friction of them being like, now I have to print it. Now I have to find a pen. And now I need to scan it back to you. If you can use DocuSign and like sign up for a free trial so you can just use mm -hmm. it for free for a sec and send it that way just to make sure you actually get this done and signed and that you get a signed copy back. It does you no good if you just send a template, okay? Use DocuSign. Um, try to make it so it is mutual, okay? So that both sides are protected. And, ah, just came back to me. Make sure that the person actually wants to do an NDA. So, you know, I think that as soon as someone claps back and they're like, no, I'm not going to sign an NDA. I don't do contracts. What, you don't trust me? All that stuff is a red yeah, flag. That's just and like, <laughs> it doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It doesn't, whatever. They're not but ready. It's enough to, yeah, it not to be like, yeah, they're not ready to kind of like jump in and be a business partner with you in any instance. It's not just the NDA. If they don't want to sign any contract. Let's say you're, you're working on something and maybe some arguments are happening within your band. Let's say you're in a band you have your band signing an NDA with each other. Um, you know, maybe some conflicts and things happen in a band. You know, want to you want to be able to 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 trust that those people aren't going to go and just talk shit without kind of some kind of consequences as well. So that's also to kind of protect. You know, some of those other things are just sensitive things that you conversations that you want to have um, to make sure that nobody says anything. It's more than oh no, nah, dude, I won't say nothing. Like there's 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 more consequences that can you know arise from it. And, and what about doubt? emails? What about emails? Well, I mean, it's kind of, it's not really the same thing, but you know, in, in emails, you know, we have those little confidentiality notice scripts in, you know, emails and stuff when you're sending files as well, like destroying, um, you know, if, if this wasn't intended for you to destroy, like, what, what do you say? Yeah, I don't, stuff? I don't know. That's how not many really in the people... same. Yeah. So like me as a lawyer, I have this on like all my emails, which is this is a confidential notice. If it's not meant for you, don't you dare read this or I'm coming after you, you know, something like that. And not everyone has that. You know, you want to get something signed. You know what I'm saying? So we could have an email and we both write in the email. Hey, I agree to this. That is something that you could use to be like, no, this was an agreement. It's, it's you know, a handshake deal. But you want a real deal. Yeah, you, sh you should go through the formality, you know, like, I'm sure you could find a non disclosure agreement. But like, I had one of my clients send me a template. And I say that so loosely. And it was like, maybe a half a page with some stuff that's usually in an NDA. But like, you gotta have a proper template. You know, what I'm saying pay an attorney yeah. one time to get a very simple NDA. And then Perfect. you just change names. So do the thing. And you will thank yourself later.